All right, um, let's do this again. Last time we saw something ridiculous, <laughs> the Falk beer. And I'm gonna do something different here. I'm gonna play this D6 move, which usually says we're gonna enter something quiet. But this is now gonna be my follow-up. This is called, and I think this is def, well, I know it is. This is definitely the first time I'm playing this on stream, and maybe even ever. I've had this played against me in tournament, like a regular over-the-board tournament. Um, it's called the Philidor Counter Gambit, and I don't know a whole lot about it, but I know I struggled to uh, make sense of it when I was playing the white side. So, what do you do? Well, I think trading a, a little bit would be nice. Let's go with that. Now, why do I think trading might be a good idea? Because it's probably the case that white is going to have a space advantage, right? And that's what we're seeing right now. This is a space advantage. And... Uh, so I'd like to have a pair of minor pieces off, in other words. There we go. That's what I meant to say. So now, what do you do next? The Philidor Counter Gambit. All right. Knight f3. Or yeah, knight f6. Very natural. Something needs to be done with this. You take, I can push. The knight might need to find a new home. In fact, it will need to find a new home. Also, what's annoying is that if the knight plays here to support the pawn, I could take, maybe. I have to be concerned about knight d5, but if, if knight c3 is played with just the intention to guard here, um, and now that's what we're going to be seeing, actually, because I could take, knight takes, and then push the knight away, and then push the other knight away. However... I might not want to allow that to happen. Actually, what about takes here? Knight takes, I take here, I'm up a pawn. That seems pretty good. Hmm. What's the trick here? What's the trick? I take here, knight takes. If I could, if I could, I could push and then push again, but then the knight is able to play to e5. I don't know if I want to allow that. If I play knight f6, there might be pawn takes. Pawn recapture. I'm back on this. I like this. Let's do this. Throw the pawn right in a pin. If knight takes here, I can... Um, I actually could just uh, develop. There's no need to take this right away. Hmm. Um, development. This pin is still here. It's hit twice. It was hit twice and defended once. So now it's hit three times and defended once. So there's still not a good way to uh, lend enough support to the e4 pawn now. What else? going to see. Um, okay, they're having to uh, fight back time-wise, and um, I'm going to have to look into this a bit more. It's definitely really interesting and uh, atypical. The Philidor Counter Gambit. Interesting. Um, okay. Because, you know, it comes off like, hey, you know, I'm just going to play a nice little quiet game and then bam, F5 on move three. I think that'll catch a lot of people off guard. So, I'm up a pawn, and after this exchange, the queens will be off the board. Am I okay with not having my king castled? Hmm. Maybe I could push this knight away first. I actually like that idea. Let's do this. 
Get out of there, Knight. I do weaken this pawn, but I would like to have uh, this Knight go elsewhere and then maybe just deploy my Bishop here. I'm not winning a pawn by doing this. I'm just uh, assuring myself of what? I'm assuring myself that the Queens come off the board, but I think this is uh, most accurate. Chase that guy away. I'm usually very, very reluctant to do a move like this because it does weaken the structure in some, in some form, but I think this does turn out to be best. I can also do this, but I, I don't want them to get that pawn back. So let me play here. Keeping in mind that queen check is available, but I just have a calm and, uh, well, I guess the better word there is convenient. I have a convenient response to this attack, to this check I just developed. And now I might want to push here or I might want to do this, actually. Maybe now it's good to get the queens off the board. <laughs> um... All right, let's do this right now. I'm doing this knowing that I have a good response if queen takes pawn. If queen takes pawn, I do this and I get the rook. I don't have any other choice but to recapture. He's out of play. I have very little to worry about with regard to this knight. What's of concern to me is what this knight is going to do, and I'm not seeing what he could really do. That's great. Um, I'm just looking for the last uh, two accurate moves here. Do I want to play rook d8, and when my king gets checked, run in this direction, or just develop with my knight here, and if I'm checked, I come over in this direction? Because I, I can't rely upon this square, and I think... I think actually playing here right now is best. Defend this pawn. I really couldn't, if there is this rook check, if I play here, there's gonna be knight takes c5. So I think going in this direction, working myself in, getting myself out of a check and working myself into another pin is, uh, that right there should be your, a red flag. If you're, if you're playing the black side here and you're contemplating, well, if I'm checked, I'm gonna run in this direction. What is it you're really doing with your king? One way to summarize it is you are placing your king in a pin. And right there, that's when you should know something is probably, something can probably use some work. Now, the knight is ready to play here. But, it maybe get to this square, but I'm not really afraid of a knight coming here. I think I want to push in the center a bit. I'm only up a pawn isn't really a whole lot, but um, maybe this idea of c5 wasn't the, the greatest thing in the world, but I'm going to run with it. We'll run with that. And I think now is the time to uh, push. Push. Knight takes pawn here. Pawn takes bishop. Knight lands a fork. Knight lands a fork. Move this knight and you lose. Or no, you don't. The bishop's there to watch over that pawn. To be cautious, though. What do they do? Less than a minute. Less than 40 for white. Forks. This is, does not work. That is not a good in-between move to be running with. I removed the threat. I guess that was just missed. Time issues. And that's it, right? There's nothing good here. Counterattack. Hit the rook. I'm on the bishop. The bishop needs to come back. I'm up a knight now. If knight check, I play here. Let's just bump my king up. Get out of any silly forks. And let's just do this. Even though I'm dropping the b-pawn. King or knight? I'm going to go with the knight. And now I'm defending this pawn. Get out of there, knight. You need to get out. Forks. Okay, no time. Good game. Interesting. The Philidor Counter Gambit. First time I'm playing that one on stream. Let me flip this board here. Go back. Flip the board. And now from White's perspective, the Philidor. And now the Philidor Counter Gambit. 
This is um, almost like the Schleman defense out of the Roy Lopez, but we're not getting to this bishop to this knight c6 bishop b5 move with then f5. It's just this immediate. It's uh, like an accelerated Schleman defense. So what's the what's the big plan? I really don't know. <laughs> I'm still struggling with it. I never really looked into it enough. Um, if pawn takes, then there's pawn takes here, and I'm on the knight. So what do you do as white here? Anybody know what the book move is? I don't. So I'm, I'm really fishing for some help right now. I do a lot of fishing. Right now I need some help. I don't know. What's the, what's the move here? Does anybody know? Can anybody offer any advice in the Twitch chat? What is the scoop here? What is it that white should be playing? Is there just uh, three moves that somebody's booked up on? Three moves here. I think having the next, uh, well, really two or three moves is going to be very helpful. Um, my hunch is that uh, you could run with e takes f. But after e4, maybe queen to e2. Um, or what about d takes d takes e, and then after f takes e. You play maybe like knight to g5. I think there's something to that. Actually, oh, okay. Thanks. I'm um, getting some different insight. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Knight c3. Thanks, um, Alex and uh, the others that have been uh, throwing in some different things. There's knights. I'm thinking. I'm so far. What was I doing before I got uh, these different ideas from the Twitch chat? I was thinking about different pawn captures, but there's um, there is knight c3. It's it's allowing for the knights to get kicked around. Knight c3 takes takes d5 knight here, pawn push knight here. In fact, <laughs> I think this is I think this is actually what I played in that uh, tournament game that I encountered this. And my knights did get kicked around. I played here, and then I ended up not being able to maintain my knight or something, and I felt a lot of pressure on the f-file. So, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so anyhow, different ideas at least we're getting here. Knight c3 and bishop c4 is apparently a Fritz opening book move. Interesting. Fritz opening book. Bishop c4, and if pawn takes pawn, what's what's the plan from there? Oh, I think there might be some sneaky tactics. I can't be certain of it, but f t if um, bishop c4 and f takes e, I think there might be knight takes e5. With the idea of if pawn recapture, queen out to h5. And then the king is running for the hills. I think that might be a sneaky... Uh, combo right there but anyhow just at this moment knight c3 bishop c4 are apparently different uh ideas you could be running with instead the bishop comes out we trade a little bit and you're struggling to try and show compensation for being up the pawn and i believe you do have some compensation here you have a lot of development and my king does have to be cautious of stuff you are focused in the right direction these are the weak points um but th this this move is not working out, so you're needing to come back, I, pr I believe, maybe to f1 or b5. I don't know if you could really avoid it, or try and go for giving up two minor pieces for the rook with knight takes pawn, pawn takes bishop, and then an eventual fork. That could be another uh, direction you could go in. But anyhow, uh, I, I learned just a, a little bit more uh, by playing uh, this opening right now. The Philidor counter gambit. So hopefully there's a, a thing or two that you got out of it as well. 